of COVID-19 have report, been reported since just Friday. Those numbers from Saturday alone are the most reported on a single day since April. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rotana is live now with what the level of spread looks like across the state and what you can do to protect yourself. Judith. A UNC professor of medicine, Dr. David Wool, says what every health expert is saying right now, getting vaccinated is your best protection against this virus. And unfortunately, these numbers don't look like they're going to be slowing down anytime soon. It's not like we didn't tell you so. Uh, we knew this was happening. We saw this was happening across the world. But the U.S. didn't heed the warning. Now the state reports a 66% increase in new cases in the last week alone. Infectious disease expert Dr. David Wool says we're in for a bad summer. We're going to see more and more cases, and we're going to see more people get sick and die. The state's county alert system map categorizes COVID-19 spread by county. While only Richmond County is labeled as red or critical, 40 counties saw increased levels of spread since the beginning of the month. Some of those counties include Cumberland, Hoke, and Samson. This is all a consequence, let's be clear, of two factors, Delta variant and unvaccinated people. And we have we have a lot of both of those. The spread not just happening in North Carolina. This is a time lapse of the CDC's map of community transmission. Much of the country is seeing higher levels of transmission now than a month ago. It is frustrating that we're seeing a surge again that really, to be honest, was preventable. Dr. Wool says we still have levers to pull to slow this down, mandating masking indoors and in schools and full FDA approval of the vaccines. He himself is now retreating to the social distancing and masking lifestyle we had in the winter. People can't let down their guard. We've gotten used to that. And unfortunately, many other countries have gone back the other way and we're not going to be any different. And turning things around won't happen overnight. Pandemic forecasters are predicting the worst of the Delta variants is yet to come. A look at that forecast and when we could finally see some relief is in my story online at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News. All right, Judith, thanks so much. We'll definitely look for that information.